Okay guys, today's uh, video is about DTG printing process, the step by step, I'll try to do as detailed as possible, okay, from, from graphic labs, to pretreatment, to printing, and then to curing, okay, all the steps, I'll share to you our settings, and then uh, the, the method we use, and then the selections of fabrics, and any tips that I can think of while I'm doing the, the printing. Very first thing you need to consider is the fabric selection. Fabric is very important because uh, certain brands will not print very well and then uh, there are a lot of factors to consider. I recommend you to try a different brands and then pick the one best for your business. In our case, we picked uh, Gildan, Gildan Premium Cotton because of the stock availability and then the variations, different thickness and then it, inclusive of a uh, hoodie polo so we don't have like to deal with a lot of a uh, different supplier reason why i ask you to you know select any uh, certain brands to print because uh, you have a lesser risk of rejection because you are printing on a daily basis so if the something if there's something wrong with the brand the the t-shirts you may know uh, then you know how to like tackle the problems now moving on to the t-shirt selection okay the thicker one you may require more pitchman so that from there you you know the the your costing and then uh, yeah the thicker one you may need more highlight as well it depends it depends that's why i say you need to test okay find your sweet spots hoodie or polo may require maybe one level higher of highlight the white highlight okay for our case the normal one very common commonly used one is the gildan gildan is this one the weaves is a bit hard and rough therefore you may require more pitchman than usual right and then other other fabric the smoother one the weaves is a bit smoother and then softer fabric that one it will print very well but then the washability is not that good because it's highly stretchable that's therefore the your ink may crack in between okay and then gildan it will sit very well but then if you don't add more highlight or pretreatment you can see the fabric color see i hope you can see that yeah you can see the fabric color it looks like dotted one this one we use eco mode okay because the the right this one we use eco mode just to show you uh, how it looks like with the lesser inks and pretreatment okay so now you're limiting yourself to, to certain brands so you have a lesser headache you just need to deal with like uh, fibers your dust maybe your your temperature humidity and then you don't have to deal like, with like different brands, uh, different thickness, the weaves, okay? And then uh, your, your dealers maybe in your local area, the stock availability, right? And some certain brands, they, they apply wax to their t-shirts just to look glossier, a bit, a bit more attractive. So then the first impression is very good. And then uh, people will buy. Once you print with a, with a DTG, the pitchman doesn't sit very well, the ink doesn't sit very well, even though it looks very good, it's easier to print, it will look very solid, but then after you wash, it will, it will completely become very dull, some may crack and then some may peel off, so that one you need to be very very careful. Okay, so regarding the material, the easiest to print is 100% cotton. Okay, the very common one is a 70-30, which is 70 uh, cotton, 30 polyester, that one is uh, quite common. Okay, if you if you the polyester content is higher, then you need to be aware of the dye migration. You need to like uh, adjust your temperature, the time. Otherwise, uh, you have a dye migration issue, especially the hoodie, the fifty fifty blend. That one you need to be extra careful. Right, enough of the fabric selection. Now let's get to the uh, software setting first. Uh, graphic Labs. Okay, first up, we're gonna open the AI then okay i'll put this artwork okay this one is our client artwork no no copyright issue right so uh, the artboard is a uh, a4 size okay right this one is a uh, a4 size you can make a3 size according to your to your clients the the printing the size they want okay so we're not going to resize now to a4 okay please be careful when you have a uh, artwork with a black background you need to like take the eyedropper tools okay eyedrop tool right you need to check the black the black color okay you check the black color open up the color chart if it's not 100% black the 100% black code which means uh, all, all six digits are zeros right if it's not pure black then maybe your 
your printer will print uh, like a dark gray color you will, you will spray a bit of a white so you can see a box there this one you need to be very careful so maybe then you can adjust the contrast or maybe you can uh, throw this in uh, photoshop and then uh, try to like brush off the side using the radiant tool okay so it doesn't have the, the the square the square feeling the looks so now we're gonna draw a guideline because i cannot see the the artboard all right this is a okay press ctrl 5 Okay, I'm not going to teach you how to use the AI because it's uh, this one. Everyone have their own method. Maybe you're not using uh, the AI software. I'm trying to like you know, uh, trying to resize everything here, and then the job is just to drag and drop into the graphic labs. I don't have to adjust the size in graphic labs anymore. Okay, and I'm not going to knock out the the black. So this one it will definitely spray a bit of uh, the white mist, and then it will look a box here, right? and now the next thing is to you know okay adjust the size i'm going to put it on top the very very top then i'm gonna adjust the the gap using the platen and by pulling the t-shirts so now i'm gonna export as a png okay name it tongue of fire one thing you need to check is the use artboard so then it will save as a a4 not according to the artwork all right now you press export make sure it's the highest quality 300 ppi and then okay 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 so now moving on to graphics lab i'm using the latest version so let's change the preview to black first and then i'm gonna drag and drop here so in this case if you just drag and drop it will automatically uh centered here so if you resize then you need to like press this button again to align center i don't usually resize here everything is done at the ai there because if you resize here it will get pixelated right okay now just move it on and then uh, press uh, print okay there will be a few types of uh, printer here if you have a usb connected to your printer you can send directly to your printer and then at, at this uh, moment the file output is a uh, gtx pro if you have a GTX old model driver installed, you can actually select that. Okay, the old model you can use on Pro, but then the Pro model, the profile you cannot use on the old models. Okay, and then you can save your presets here by using this button, save preset, and then name them. Okay, in this case, we are going to print the black T, right? So, I'll just show you the, the settings, okay? Okay, we just use the default setting only, which is color plus white. And then mode, uh, just normal eco mode will use a uh, less ink, but then it's a uh, not recommended, okay. Unless the artwork is like a uh, uh, more vintage styles, okay. So in this case, we use normal, and then this one for black tea, you can knock out the the black. You won't print the black color, okay. This one you need to be very careful because uh, if you are printing on color tea, then you may miss out, okay, by ticking this, and then it won't print black. It will look very weird. So for color tea, you need to untick this. Okay, so now we are printing black tea. I need to tick this, and then for color multiple pass printing, we always tick this. Okay, no matter the colors of the t-shirts. Right, the setting we use a uh, highlight five, and then mask three. This is a very very standard setting. Okay, for hoodie, polo, or certain uh, thicker fabric or maybe higher poly content, then we'll bump up extra one level to six. But then actually, uh, this one uh, we just use the default setting for most most of our t-shirts. Okay, the main thing you need to uh, the most important thing is the uh, pretreatment. If you if you get your pretreatment right, then this one default setting will look very nice already. Okay, for fast print, I don't usually tick because I don't use uh, Pro that often. But in this case, I'll tick that. Okay, and then these are the black setting. You can save it. Black t-shirt settings. Okay, I'll show you color T. It's actually uh, pretty much the same, except this one is a uh, antic, and then for white T. Okay, it's a uh, default setting as well with this one color multiple pass printing T. Okay, now I'm gonna choose black T in this case and then press print. Okay, converting. Let's see the preview. 
so the preview the white ink this is the consumption of the white ink this is the consumption of the color ink you add up together and then you multiply by the by the your costing you you get the costing for for this artwork okay and then save it okay this is the arxp which stands for pro if the old model it will it will become arx4 so arx4 can be used on pro but then arxp you cannot be used on the uh, old models so I'm gonna save this oh I saved earlier so just replace and there you go and then I shut off this I have the file here I'll keep it as a record in case uh, the client wants to repeat order in the future so this one we usually will save it we'll keep it this far okay so this is a yellow premium cotton and then this is, is a 180 GSM and the ring spun cotton and now we're gonna put here to do the pre-treatment okay the the width is uh, 14 inches and then the length is uh, 20 inches this one so i'm gonna do it full even though i'm just printing a4 i'm gonna do full to see how much pre-treatment we use so in this case uh, for gilded as i said earlier you need a uh, more pre-treatment so usually we will use a uh, level three level three less means uh, more pre-treatment higher means less pre-treatment because it will travel faster right so this one we'll find out how many gsm how many grams for the pre-treatment right so it's done with the pre-treatment and then yeah one thing you need to be careful is uh, if your t-shirt is uh, put too long whether uh, on a table or anywhere if you put too long you need the sticker you need to like remove the fibers or dust or any dirt right? then only you do pre-treatment so now if in this case we are going to like brush one direction because the pre-treatment is not laid down evenly properly so uh, we will use the brush see come closer to me come closer see it will look a bit more even okay more smooth as compared to if you don't brush see the pre-treatment the mist is still sitting on top it's not absorbed into it so you will get like uneven prints or not so solid prints so yeah we need to brush one direction and of course this one i think i explained in uh, our I, my other video you need to brush one direction you don't go and brush up and down up and down because the fiber needs to be laid down on one side once you press the fibers will be everything will be laid down on one side okay one direction all right so now brush 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 all right and now we're gonna weigh it okay so now the t-shirt is at uh, 160 grams now this one is pre-treated already okay it's safe to say that this is uh, 30 grams of pre-treatment yeah 30 grams right 30 grams is uh, at the cube level 3 if level 7 just now I tried is a uh, uh, 20 grams so it's a uh, 10 grams different in between 3 to 7 all right okay so now after brushing and all I'm gonna do it press Okay, it's better if you have the heat press that you can thread in you can thread in and then uh, you have this cover teflon cover because if you just just use the silicone mat okay if you just use the silicone mat there will be too much grit okay it's not pro productive to do your work this is much faster okay it don't, doesn't have any grit and then we just use the uh, teflon Teflon cover. This one is a non-breathable teflon. Okay, the setting we use is a uh, 180 Celsius. 180 Celsius at 60 seconds. Medium high pressure. Okay. The recommended one is uh, 35 seconds according to the cookbook. It's 35 seconds for the drying time. But then we find it's not, not enough. It's not sufficient to dry up the the gildan because it's a thicker material. And then we apply much more pigment. Right. So let's wait. For it to dry and then we'll go on for the printing okay once you hit press it is the uh, best that you print immediately okay right and then this 
the one I mentioned earlier, you put the artwork to the top, to the very top, and then you adjust the gap based on this uh, frame. Okay, for this frame, it's uh, 4 inches. So if you want 4 inches, you'll be right on. Just pull until here. That's all. This will be, this will be uh, 4 inches gap. Okay, you just, then you need to like, push out the air inside. Okay, push out the air inside. So then, when you're printing, okay, the t-shirt doesn't move because it sticks to the to the grip. Okay, if it if it moves, then uh, you will get a misaligned like white come out of the CMYK print. Okay, then you need to like uh, make sure that the platen is uh, at the very top for t-shirt. Okay, and then we always put a ruler here so easier for you to do measurement or sometimes if there's uh, something coming up you can block it with a steel ruler this is a very useful tool and then uh, i think that's about it yes free okay Okay, so now it's uh, printed, looking good, the colors. So whenever you just print, the color will look very vibrant because it's still wet. Okay, once you cure, it will look slightly dull unless you use a dryer, but not everyone have a dryer here. Especially in, in Asia, they use a uh, heat press because of budget problems. And then uh, regarding the problem I mentioned earlier, if this background it's not pure black, which is which is a uh, six digits of zero. Then it will spray a bit of a white, looking like you know, uh, to represent a dark gray, dark gray color. Then you can see very clearly there's a box. So if in case you missed out uh, this kind of artwork, then what we do is uh, we will rub off the side, so it doesn't look like too square, you know. It look a bit a bit like. Uh, like a gradient tone not too square but it depends depends on the how how dark it is sometimes you cannot uh, avoid this kind of problem yeah you see you still can see the square box maybe i wait a little too long i should have just just now to rub it once it's uh, coming out okay so never mind uh, we go and do the heat press so if you don't want you want to miss the you know this kind of vibrance color then maybe you can do a harbor first you can harbor a while. But for curing, we use this heat press. All right. So maybe if, if you have a polyester content, then uh, you want to avoid dye migration. It's best that you harbor for a while. Okay, harbor first. Harbor for maybe like thirty seconds or forty seconds. Then only you press for say twenty seconds. It depends. Uh, sometimes uh, past fifteen seconds, you you have a dye migration already. And then the color will become slightly dull. Of course, uh, we don't use this Teflon. This Teflon is not breathable. Uh, okay, this Teflon, this type of Teflon, is a breathable one. Same like uh, the one you use, like like craft paper, parchment paper. You will get the matte look of the printing. Okay, for this case, we don't use a heavy pressure. Just use a very light pressure. Just slight, just slightly touching it only. This one we are curing at uh, 170. 170 Celsius and uh, 40 seconds. Of course, according to the cookbook, you can you can actually uh, cure at uh, 35 seconds. So uh, we don't really follow the cookbook. So let's wait for it, and uh, I'll show you the sample later. Okay, so this is the result. Looking good. Color quite vibrant. The red quite solid. See the white. The white is quite solid. Okay. Okay, so we are done with everything. Let's see the result here. Okay, as you can see, there's a uh, some some stain here. Some stain, is, if you can see it. Okay, not so obvious on black color, but then it's uh, quite obvious on gray or red color T-shirt. So then you you need to like hover for a bit longer when you're you're drying the bitumen or when you're curing. 
you need to hover a bit longer otherwise you get a like pretreatment stain a box there and then uh, lessen the pressure the time and the temperature this one you need to find a sweet spot for yourself okay especially uh, for white tea you need to reduce the temperature to 160 maybe and then uh, press uh, you can press several times maybe 20 seconds two times or you can like press uh, 30 seconds straight away but then it will turn a bit yellowish depending on the fabric as well so the purpose of this video is for beginners or for for my client who just bought a GTX printer and then uh, so you can go through the step by step the method I use okay the brother pretreatment I use the ratio is a one one uh, pretreatment and then 1.5 tap water only not distilled water so you can do your own you can uh, you can use distilled water it is recommended to use this distilled water all right and then if you are advanced user then maybe this this video will be boring for you or maybe you can find uh, tips here okay so good luck uh, with your printing and then if you have anything you want to ask you can drop a comment in the section below okay i'll answer you if i have free time okay see you again